Sitting here uh, at Lohe Town Centre, waiting for the number 66 bus to head out to Chilliwack. It's going to be an adventure. It's been years since I've done this voyage. Uh, just sitting here with, with Sonia right now. Hi, Sonia. Hello. Yeah, we're uh, heading out for the big adventure. Now, it's going to be uh, just a day trip out there, and then uh, we're going to come back. We've never done this route. Huh? No, we haven't done this route. No, we haven't done this route. Not from not from Lougheed. We've taken no. it from Carvault Exchange before in Langley, but not from uh, not out from here at uh, Lougheed Town Center. So this is, like I say, this is going to be a great voyage. But at least we can get back from Chilliwack, not like Duncan, where you... Right. And it's the same bus number 66? I was just going to say, Sonia, like, yeah, number 66. That it goes from Victoria to Duncan. Actually, Cowichan, Cowichan Transit uh, provides the service. Um, not Victoria. I just want to make sure I clarify that. It's Cowichan Transit that provides the service uh, that goes from Cowichan, uh, Cowichan to Victoria. Um, yeah, but it's only peak hour service. It's not. It's not daytime service, uh, except for one of the uh, one of the buses that got swapped out from early morning from Cowichan. It uh, got pushed uh, to later in the morning that leaves from Cowichan to Victoria. Let's say you can now actually get to Victoria, but you know you can leave Victoria on that same bus in the afternoon, but you can't get back. So the difference on this voyage that we're going to be taking from Lohi to Chilliwack, you can get to and from the community throughout the day. Yeah, it's not just a, uh, a commuter service, uh, PM, AM, PM uh, hours. Like this is throughout the day, back and forth. And that's what Victoria and Cowichan need to have on their number, uh, on their number 66 bus. I don't know why they still um, refuse to put the service out throughout the day. Uh, people do need to travel to and from the communities throughout the day, not just a one-way street here, right? It's a nice, beautiful day, isn't it, Sonia? Not bad. It's clear and sunny out. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely, definitely nice and clear and sunny. Definitely, there's another the TransLink bus out there, it's sitting out there. They're all parked along there, as you see. The segment here on their voyage uh, takes uh, an hour and 23 minutes to get into Sardis, another 10 more minutes into downtown Chilliwack. It, uh, yeah, it's definitely uh, could be a quite a voyage. We're looking forward to it. Oh, there goes a the TransLink bus, not the service. Yeah, this bus is fully packed, uh, definitely loaded up really quickly. It goes to show that providing service between communities uh, within the BC Transit corridor, uh, that they can uh, you know, basically provide uh, adequate service uh, for citizens in the communities. They can get to and from uh, where they need to go, not like over between Victoria and Cowichan. People are saying, well, really, I didn't know that the bus actually rose from uh, Victoria to Cowichan. No, because they don't run it enough. they got four buses. Four buses. And they all be from Cowichan to Victoria, only during the AM peak hours, and that's it. Uh, one of, like I said earlier in a uh, traveling segment here, one of the buses actually was from very early in the morning, and they pushed it to like 9 to the 3. So, uh, yeah, and then that bus there goes to Victoria. Uh, it parks there until uh, 1.45 in the afternoon. So I think it gets there like almost quarter to 11 in the morning. It leaves uh, how it should at 9, like 9.23, 9.26, something like that, by around there. Um, yeah, so it takes a little while, definitely a while <laughs> to get to Victoria. It parks there until later in the day, but you can't get back. You leave from Victoria, you you know, you go up to uh, Cowichan, say for the day. But, yeah, you want to get back? No, you can't. You have to wait till the next morning and try it again. Uh, yeah, but this one here that I'm on right now, it leaves low heat and it goes to Chilliwack, starts.
stops in Carmel and a bunch of other stops along the way uh, where you can pick people up, drop people off, yeah. and you can come back the same day, multiple times, say, like, yeah. Chilliwack, yeah. we're getting ready to head out here, so, uh, here, here we go. different municipalities that are within translate uh, jurisdiction. 
they made an agreement with the municipalities to provide the service throughout the region. Well, we arrived at High Street Mall. Uh, a lot of people got off the bus here uh, as a transfer point uh, for areas uh, locally within Abbotsford. Uh, one of my favorite places to go to is High Street Mall when I come out this area. Just uh, I don't have time to uh, do that today. Maybe on another adventure. Uh, today's adventure is out to Chilliwack. A lot of people cleared out of the bus here, uh, which uh, is it's not as many standees for sure. It's usually, I guess, uh, it's pretty crowded this time of the day, I suppose. But a lot more people are taking this bus. It's a popular route. It gets uh, you know people away from Chilliwack out through the valley all the way up to the lower mainland. I just wish that more communities would actually start doing this and connecting communities to connect communities and people getting them through and to and from the communities that they want to go to. Uh, it makes no sense to have just a one-way um, you know, transportation and now we have to get back to the community that you want to go to. And it's so frustrating for me uh, between uh, say Victoria and Cowichan. Uh, and that's why a lot of people hear me grumbling saying I, I want to make it back to the lower mainland because I have that freedom the freedom of movement, you know, the freedom of to be able to travel from one community to another community and it's not being stuck. And that's what this segment is not all about me grumbling, it's about my voyage um, on a, uh, from Low Heat all the way to Chilliwack. I just want to show people what, you know, what the journey is all about and uh, how important it is having the transportation to get to and from. And, uh, yeah, and it's, I know I, I grumble a lot saying, well, I can't get to and from the community. I mean, well, who, who doesn't want to get to and from a community that they want to go to, right? I mean, you should have to have that transportation uh, without, without no um, you know, battle, uh, having to keep on advocating, keep pushing the government, saying, like, you know, do the right thing, do the right thing, provide the service. Well, just do it. Well, we arrived at McCollum Park and Ride in Evansburg. Even There's more people getting on. Busy bus, definitely busy route. Gorgeous day for travel, definitely. The air out here is just so crisp. It's a lot colder out in this area, definitely. I trust Ford, it's warm.